Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Joanne. The Lord has spoken with me this past night in a very mighty way. There's a big, big revival that is coming out. A big explosion of revival is going to consume Eldoret. This land is now under the jurisdiction of the authority of the revival, the end revival of the Lord. The Lord in a mighty, mighty conversation this past night, he brought some of the people that were healed to me. And there's this man that came and opened his mouth. And I thought he was without a shirt, but I probably was wearing a brown cloth, uh, uh, brown, brown shirt. But uh, he opened his mouth and he began to speak with me. So the deaf ears are going to open many, many, many deaf, many blind, many, many crippled, many mute are also going to speak. I've seen this man talking to me. And so there's going to be a big explosion of healing and revival in Eldred. Many, many, many creatures are going to walk and get up from their wheelchairs. Many, many, many blind, many deaf, many mute, many lame, many paralytics. I saw a tremendous visitation this past night. Many of those with broken hips, broken spines, spinal injuries, broken necks, broken skulls. Tumors are going to dissolve, cancers will dissipate, they will disappear totally from their blood, HIV, leukemia, all the blood conditions, hypertension, diabetes. The Lord is going to bring a major healing the internal organs. He's going to heal many, many internal organs, the kidneys that are failed, the spleen, the liver, the stomach, the tongue, and every single condition of the internal organs. There's going to be a major historic visitation in Eldoret. At the same time, he's also going to dry wounds. I've seen this person now a third time, and the wounds are terrible. It's untightly. In the dream, when I saw it, hand away my face again. It's like leprosy, a lot of wounds and parts all over the body. And the Lord is going to dry them up. The Lord is going to heal also and block the bleeding diseases from the women. He's going to bring a tremendous anointing of his healing in the field in Eldoret. A huge historic revival has now officially broken out in Eldoret, and the Lord has now released his heavenly anointing to visit Eldoret. He has now commissioned his power to visit the land of Kenya, to visit the church, and to visit the revival meeting in Eldoret. And that's why we are gate number one, where all our TV cameras are positioned, and we are receiving the sick people in their conditions, on their wheelchairs, in their deafness, in their blindness, in their muteness, in their bleeding, in their wounds, in their afflictions. But when these people are healed in the meeting, like the baby who's deaf ears are just set open, then now we can see from how great the work of Jesus is, how gallant the battle he fought with his hands on the cross are, how much he has done to remove them from dilapidation, from desperation, from hopelessness, from pain and agony and that we may now celebrate and bring the revival throbbing across the nations of the earth on how wonderful Jesus has worked. These are the days when now the church is being empowered, and I release this tremendous message and news to you, that the Lord has now commissioned Eldred, his jurisdiction is now over Eldred. The authority of the power of the anointing of God is now over Eldred, and everybody going there can now receive their healing. It will be historic. It will stand the church. It will make the ears that will listen tingle and tremble. It will make the nations tremble. It will make the earth tremble when they hear what the Lord is going to do in Eldred. Shalom, shalom, shalom. These are the great days to be a Christian. These are the days in which we should celebrate the coming of the Messiah. He is soon taking us home. These are the signs of the days of the glory of the Lord. And the other nations, it is very surprising that the pastors are still preaching money. They are still looking for money. They are still looking for girls and women to sleep with. In immorality, homosexuality is still claiming a place at the altar. While the glory is being manifest and revealed in order. Shalom, shalom. The Messiah is coming. Go to order it, expecting to receive a miracle. And prepare in righteousness. Be holy as you go to heaven. Come to heaven in the name of the Lord.